I said my final argument. This was the biggie. This was the ace I've been hiding up my sleeve. I said, you can't send me back. And I said, why? And I said, I have never, I called them guys. It's a guy thing to call them guys. I mean, we were really bonded. Um, I said, you guys, I've never known anybody that loved me like you did. I've never known anybody that knew me like you did, because you know me better than I know me. And I said, if you send me back, it'll kill me. I will die of a broken heart. And they said, you're not paying attention. Has there been a moment in your life when we have ever been apart from you, when you have ever been alone or separated from us? I went, no, but like I never saw you, I never talked to you, I never felt you. Is it going to be like that when I go back? And they said, it's going to be exactly like that. And I said, well, it's kind of like being alone when you can't see, hear, feel, taste, touch. You know, the person who's with you, it's like they're not there. You know, um, it feels lonely. And the, okay. <laughs> and I said, that would kill me in loneliness to be apart from you. And I said, there is a way to get in touch with us. And I said, how do you do that? And they said, be still, get quiet, talk to us, tell us everything you want to say, then be really quiet and still and invite our love into your heart. And you'll know that we're right there. And you'll know our love right there. Um, this works. It really works. Get it all out. Tell them everything. You know, it would sound something like this. Lord, I'm really concerned about the toe fungus in my right toe because the <laughs> medication I've been using has it been totally ineffective. And I think I kind of blew it with my spouse today because I yelled at them and slammed the door when I left home. And I should have said, I love you. And why am I so stupid? And what are you going to do to get me to say I love you instead of slamming the door and acting like a you know, truculent child? And God, um, I didn't take a telephone call at my office because I didn't want to talk to this person because they're obnoxious. But maybe I should have talked to them. And maybe the fact that they're obnoxious is that they have a need that maybe possibly I could be sympathetic to and listen to and help them in some way. And, you know, I mean, all the trivia. Do you believe that? I bet you don't believe that God, Jesus, the angels want to know the trivia of your life. You're wrong. They want to know. They want to know everything. They want to know your hopes, your fears, your mistakes, your successes. When you get through that, whatever it is that comes out of your mind, that comes out of your heart, and you give it up to God, this is just sort of clearing the decks so that you can listen. That's why you're doing this. Because they already know all this stuff. But they're not bored, but they already know. After you've cleared the decks, listen. Feel. Open your heart up. 